Hello everyone, this is Christian Duke from ProgressiveActivist.com. I'm joined by my good friend Charlie DeLacy, who is the Vice Chair of the Davis County Democratic Party. Charlie, how are you today? I'm wonderful, how are you? I'm doing great, we just had the Progressive Lunch. A lot of people were talking about that, you know, progressive leaders from all over the Commonwealth meeting with Jim Gray. What were your impressions of the event? I was uh, uh, very satisfied with uh, speaking with uh, Jim Gray, that he, uh, that he would come and meet with us for uh, for one thing, that uh, that he actually cares about our uh, viewpoints and honestly listening, and uh, and giving us what he honestly thinks. Um, one of the major uh, things that uh, pointed out uh, to me was that um, he was very much against uh, Citizens United. He was very in favor of overturning that. He saw. The, as he put it, the poison of money. Uh, uh, In organized politics, yeah, which is yeah. very dangerous because actually, I mean, even before Citizens United, it was it was a little scary. But now you could actually like buy elections, which is crazy. Right. Yeah, corporations are running our government, um, and so to see that he was uh, opposed to that, and to see even just in his demeanor that he honestly uh, was opposed to that and uh, many other things that uh, he was opposed to or in favor of that uh, his body language showed that he was genuinely that and that I, uh, I very much agreed it was very good uh, something to send our state, uh, the commonwealth, uh, even, even the country forward. Absolutely. One thing that I really liked, Charlie, was the fact that when we asked him about the TPP, he was very direct, almost immediately said he was opposed mm -hmm. to it. And right after that, someone asked him about uh, tuition, or not tuition, they asked him about uh, student debt and wiping that out. And uh, no, actually, no, it was uh, universal health care. That's what it was. Because actually, we actually went to an event with Nancy Joe Kemper and Jim Gray at KSU. Right. And that question was also asked there, but what I was thinking about was right after the TPP, they asked him, well, you also support universal health care, remember? And he was like, well, that one, that one, we, you know, and, and he, he spoke about it. And he, to my satisfaction, explained where he stood on that. But what I really appreciate was the fact that another politician should have said, yep, I'm for that too. And I'm for that, and I'm for that, and I'm for that. And he didn't do that. And uh, just echoing what you were saying, that he's a very trustworthy individual. Maybe not always says exactly what we want to hear, but what he does say, we can bank on that. Right. He says what he means. Yeah. Uh, and he won't waver even uh, to please the crowd. Yeah. Um, and so uh, uh, even if he's speaking to a crowd that he knows the answer that they want, yeah. but he believes something different, he's still going to say that. Yeah, and, and, and in fact, too, uh, at, uh, at the Nancy Joe Kemper, Jim Gray speech, uh, he was asked about uh, student debt. And I think the person asking the question wanted an answer, and he was giving a different answer. Uh, he talked about refinancing and, and making payments a little bit more yeah. fair, yeah. but he wasn't talking about wiping that out. Right. And no matter how they asked him, and no matter how much pressure he was under, he did not flip-flop. Right. And that's, that's certainly something that I think is, is positive about him. Right. That shows a, a very true... Uh, a, what a politician should be, and uh, that that was that was very encouraging. Absolutely. And, uh, and it solidified that uh, uh, I believe he's a he would be a great candidate and and a great senator. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, Charlie. Thank you. Mm -hmm.